Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to Factory Fun, the series in which you tell me which bots to try out from the community factory, and I do so to the very best of my ability, writing them out of five in both style and combat, and giving my honest first impressions. If the bot averages three over the two categories of style and combat, I will be purchasing it with Galaxy Cash, which of course will give a small amount to the original designer. So, the bot we are going to be testing out today is the Companion Cube by Wilbrew. It's a companion cube. Do I need to say anything else? Well, I guess not, and I'm going to assume this is a hover medic, so this is going to be a bit of a weird one. Already, it's quite obvious this is an art build, but just how well will it do in combat? In terms of style, it's definitely a 5. I'm sorry, but that is a thing of beauty. It is indeed the companion cube, which has been stylized a little bit with the corners. I like it, and let's see just how well it looks will carry it in a combat situation. This battle is going to be a little bit terrifying. The enemy have four rail guns, two plasma bombers, and an interceptor. All sorts of stuff I can't really defend against very well, being a poor little medic, so we're going to just try and stay back as much as possible and heal our frontline guys, hopefully faster than they can be obliterated by the rails. Where did that plasma bomber go? Oh, it's down there. Not going to go down there to try and help him, honestly, as I don't want to get killed myself just yet. So, controlling this thing is actually better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot heavier than it actually is, so a nice positive there. Also, having all the guns on the front doesn't mean it's very easy to actually decide where I'm healing, so that's good as well. Come on, team! This is going to be a really slow battle, isn't it? Both teams also have two medics, so... Yeah, a lot of healing going on. Okay, there goes the in their interceptor at least. Oh, one of our guys is taking damage, but there is a medic next to him who isn't doing the auto heal. Sir, sir, really? I do you think I can move easily in small spaces? Oh, two of our guys at the front being attacked. Okay, I'll leave the healing to this guy and I'll go on to the front. Excuse me, excuse me, there he is. Spotting him. I am vulnerable! No, I'm not. Okay. I lied! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Apparently all my hoppers are on the bottom. <laughs> I'm just rolling around. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh, it's a lot funnier when you're the one controlling it because you just... You can feel how it's change of controls happens. It's just, it was absolutely fine. One shot to the side, and the entire fling weirdly flips. The entire thing weirdly flips, in fact. Uh. Okay, style 5, combat 2. That, that's what I'm saying right now. The controls are fairly heavy, but that's to be expected. I mean, come on, it's an art build. In terms of being able to, to tank damage, I was hoping perhaps it'd be more block spammy on the inside, or perhaps mildly triforced with the hovers, but sadly, both of those seem not to be the case. Its weapons are well placed, I'll give it that much, but yeah, this is clearly a thing which is meant to look pretty, not actually get into combat too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into a second battle. Second battle begins, and this time we actually have the chat enabled. Apparently someone instantly recognised the companion cube as such, so well done that. Also apparently we should all stick together. We are brethren, us medics! Okay, so... Let's see, where is everyone going? Oh, we do have a cluely ball, a very laggy cluely ball on our team. Our forces are at the back, moving forward. Oh wow, we have a lot of medics. Yeah, we are the medic team. Why is that so imp We have five, they have three. This is going to be a bit of a weird one. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to the SMG, purely because that actually feels like the better thing to do. More constant damage, particularly with the, ex the exceedingly high number of medics. Ah, don't roll! <laughs> this thing wants to roll constantly. It's like, as soon as you touch anything, it just flips. It's just what it does. I think it's because the hovers are so low down on this part. Wow. I can help too! Yay! We 
heal the people who are still alive. I am resisting portal quotes, I've got to be honest. No! Let me go up this hill! Move, companion cube! No! SMG, don't go that way! Do you know how long it just took me to move, like, two inches? Look, he can move! I want to help! <laughs> Rolling! <laughs> That's amazing! I didn't even hit anything that time, I just stopped too quickly. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes! Well done, that SMG. Oh, that little medic there has been beaten up so often. Yeah, our team has been obliterated already. We could have split up, we had to stay really close together if we had any chance to win with this kind of um, composition. SMG, I'm afraid all of our hopes are really on you here. Oh. This is a medic flyer, okay, no immediate threat at least. Oh, let's park here. Oh, incoming friends! No, don't kill me! Look how beautiful I am! Oh, completely obliterated. <laughs> I was starting to think combat might be lower than a two. I didn't realise just how frail we actually were. Okay, one more battle, I think. I think this might be a short one. One or two more battles. I don't think we can really gain any more information on this bot by doing battles with it. Before we get into the next clip, please be aware that Lathrix is still recovering from pneumonia, so if he laughs particularly loudly, or has to do anything suddenly with his voice, he sounds like a deranged duck. Just bear that in mind. Third battle begins. Depending on how long this battle goes on for, this may be our final battle. So, let's follow the SMG over there and try and be a good companion cube. We are the companion. Medic. Oh, come on. You can get up the hill. No. <laughs> no. This isn't acceptable. I'm sorry, but when you're an art bot, you need to at least be able to function. Oh, why does this not work? <laughs> I'll make it over there in a minute. <laughs> no, don't flip, please. Come on. There we go. Yes. Yes. I'm going to be so helpful. Just ignore me if I speak. Come on, just. Maybe I should have gone the long way around. Oh, screw you hitting me in the back. Can't you see I can't move? At least he hit me in the heart, which is higher up. No! <laughs> I can't breathe. I'm trying to move forward. I really am. Oh, oh my poor microphone was so overloaded then. Yes, I'm free. I've been freed from my shackles, thank you, Plasma Bomber. Go and fight, I will heal. I will be the bestest little companion cube you've ever seen. Oh, I'm crying, please help. Oh, no. No, no, I can help. Yes! No! I can't breathe. I've went away, taken a bit of a break, and allowed the air back into my lungs, and allowed my throat to be soothed a little bit. It turns out still being a little bit ill and laughing like that is really not a good combination. Now I feel more ill than I have all week, so well done, Companion Cube. I'm still giving this thing a 5 out of 5 for style, because of course my opinions on that haven't changed, and I am still giving it a 2 out of 5 in terms of combat, although I do feel like I'm being a little bit too generous there. You could make this work a lot better, as I have seen other companion cubes of a similar style actually, which do work significantly better in combat, although saying that, it is an art build, and at the end of the day, that's exactly what it's meant to be. I will be keeping it in one of my bays for a very long time in the future. And with that, if you would like to see your robot in a future episode, then please, in the comments below, leave your username, the robot's name of course, and what type of bot it is, and ranking 
and any other applicable information you can think of. The more information in the description of the robot, the higher the chance I will be purchasing it and testing it out in the future. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. I'm going to take a long break now and have a nice cup of caramel tea.